everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, as you saw flying through space, my guests are two oldies and a newbie. Give it up for Margaret Cho, Nick Rutherford, and Jay Catapretta, everybody. Yes. Jade and I went head to head on uh, At Midnight uh, a while back, mm -hmm. and I, f I forgot who won and who lost. It doesn't really matter. You remember. Ma it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all, but uh, <laughs> it, it was super fun. <laughs> and uh, Margaret and Nick have both been on the show before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're going to go head to head tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really think you're going to tear it up? <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really dig in. We're really it, gonna dig in. Because at 720, it's going to be uh, 420 in places like uh, Honolulu and, uh, and Amsterdam, which we mm -hmm. love, of course, and uh, lots of other places. Yeah, Budapest, <laughs> Vienna, Warsaw. It's Oslo. Paris, Oslo, Oslo, Oslo Sweden. 420 somewhere. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what they say. And today's show intro music was sent in by a fan, Tyson Sainer, and he's at Rev, R-E-V, oh, uh, Revt, R-E-V-T 23 on Twitter. <laughs> These names, like yeah. I, I always say Twitter names and then they're always so clunky. I know you gave me mine. I did. Yeah. What is it, Jade the at movie? The Jade, at the Jade the, movie. The Jade movie. The Jade, Jade movie. Because yeah. I was like, there's a movie called Jade, so you should take advantage of that. And then Jade ran <laughs> were you home born, with Were you born advice. when that was made? Jade? Uh, yeah. That was yeah. like, that was a... 1995 oh. Caruso, David yeah. Caruso porno San Francisco. thriller. Yes. <laughs> San, San Francisco. Francisco. Yeah. San Francisco. That supermodel gets hit by a car really hard, uh, and like Eberhard. right near Cobbs. Ever hard. Yeah, near, at that park. Yes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I used That's to right. refer it to, like the, like the movie, you know? Our sativa today uh, that we have here is a little blue dream, and then mm. we're, our indica is called kosher kush. So uh, ah. blue dream. all our Jewish friends can just uh, mm. dive right into that. Oh, that smells really nice. And uh, you know, I always assume everybody wants sativa, so I packed all the Definitely. all the uh, bowls with. Uh, Sativa, so you guys can. Uh... Well, this is what oh, I brought you. I don't cool. know if this is pick a sativa. what you want. This I love this. This is not. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's a sativa or an indica, but this is what I brought for Doug. It's a company that I'm working with called. Oops, I'm working with called Organican, and it's organican.com. Uh huh. And uh, I have my own line of pot coming out. Wow. Um, it's called that a high line. Cool. That's and, awesome. Uh, well, because Connie Chung has her own line of pot, her own strain. And I'm like, if Connie Chung Let's never get Connie okay. Chung up in this motherfucker. Uh, I know she has her own her husband. strain. Yeah, they'll come. They'll like they, she grows it, and no, they no, grow. she. It's named after her because you get so high, you look like her. And then no, <laughs> I, I know that they they have like talked about it on TV before, and they will totally come on. I hope That's so. That's awesome. It's, it's That's weird great. the lines people draw though. At which point they don't want to. Because this is a comedy show, you yeah. Know, so they don't yeah. want us, us to but make why, fun of them. Why wouldn't or... she bring you your her own weed? Know, it's right? advertising her weed. It's a good selling is point. It, is you it, know when Gaio's got weed? Yeah, that's. I'm gonna roll he and I have the same company. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So I brought this for Doug. It's a. It's a. It, but be awesome. careful because it's harsh. It, it looks like, like a, an inhaler, and it's it's four it's nine, four nineteen somewhere, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it uh, looks totally like a regular inhaler, and. Um, I can't wait to try it. Right when it, it. right at 420, I'm gonna hit this thing. Cool. And you mind I, if I'm gonna be like Sean Astin in the Goonies? That's what he was doing, probably. Oh yeah. Just getting high. Or that guy in <laughs> it. Right. Yeah. That what? movie really. The clown yeah. movie. If yeah. you want to, if you want to drag TV movies into it. Yeah. Oh, I've okay. never well, looked at a gutter <laughs> the same way. Doug, I also brought you something. No, you did it from your wallet. It's twenty dollars. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Nick Rutherford. It's a company I'm working with That's called the U.S. Awesome. Mint. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I heard they uh, narrowly avoided having to put a lady on this thing. The thank lady's going to be on the ten. Uh, oh, really? So yeah, good work, well, U.S. Lady. Mint. Good job. And there's still going to be a man on it somewhere. Just, just in like the corner a, telling like her what to do. Cool, like, yeah, like a, a smile. Like on a magazine cover of the corner <laughs> yeah. story. You know? It would kill you to smile. Yeah. Yeah. But don't Why forget, don't Jefferson, he's still up to his old tricks. Okay. Who'd they decide on? Did this. they decide on somebody? It's time, you guys. It's all smoke. Yeah. Here's okay. some okay. lighters and some pipes. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with a bowling pin. Yeah, it's a cool one. Yeah, if you want to roll one, people would love to see that. Yeah, I'll roll one in a second. Wait, which end do you smoke out of now? 
Uh, like that's the this end. Yeah, that that's one. for your oh, mouth, so yeah. and that's like, for lighting. And then finger hole okay. that other. Oh, yeah. I was gonna light you. Yeah. Thank you. Can we both? Well, let me look at yours. Oh, oh man, I love cute. yours. What do like you? Oh, I got a classic red and blue nice bubbler. Right. I'll be like at an amusement park. <laughs> I'm having trouble breathing. I'm gonna go on that ride again. That was sweet. <laughs> it's good, oh, right? Man. Yeah, yeah. Never it's neat how it just shoots it. one shot of uh, weed into your. Oh well, wait, system. then you there's smoke that comes out. <laughs> I didn't see. Or is it like a tincture type of thing? That's so cool. It seems to be kind of like a maybe. I don't know what it's in. What it's so <laughs> maybe it's an, is. an oil that maybe. heats up like um, a some kind of. I don't know what the solution is, but it's very cool oh, and it's look, very uh, easy to carry around. Well, anyone else you. is free to uh, to try it. It's hard, so be careful. Like. If that's what she giant. says to it's everybody. Harsh. I didn't think it was that harsh. Here, Nick, try it. Try I wiped it. it off because it seems like an actual inhaler. You wouldn't just hand it to this somebody. This is our say, time. This is take my a dish. <laughs> Couldn't, wasn't there something about like inha- I remember like I, you weren't allowed to take other Whoa. people's inhaler, not because they would you know it's die re- without it, but it's refreshing. Yeah, get, it's quick. and mm-hmm. short. Like it'd be good for you know in situations Anybody where you don't want to be what. When you like actual inhalers are <laughs> like yeah yeah the actual inhalers smoke yeah. doesn't come out of your no, mouth after yeah. you're done so you gotta you still gotta be really cool about it. It. like blow it into a sleeve or something oh, but shit. I definitely used to if hit my public. my friend's inhalers you did yeah yeah that's what, what would it do it would just give you a brief super like, uh, boost you can yeah, see you into get the like, future oh, it's like yeah. an ephedrine uh-huh. or something mm-hmm. it's like a speedy kind of thing yeah yeah it would just I don't think it harms you well I don't know. Well, we'll see. But this is good for like the you know the middle aged owner such as myself who doesn't you know I don't want to I don't want anything with an alien on it. You right. Know, I don't. It's clean. Uh, okay, be you know. careful. <laughs> don't hurt anybody. Yeah. Like I know, but penguin over there. You don't want to walk around with a Doug Benson face. Oh, pipe. is that what it is? That's it what is that's so, supposed to be. That's so cute. <laughs> but it's like that that kind of you know it's subtle, so you don't have to. Yeah. Sort of you can do it in front of your work friends. You can do it in front of I anyone. I love it, and, uh, but I also love just misleading strangers into thinking you have asthma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you cough hysterically after you mm-hmm. take the hit. You I didn't know Margaret that. Cho had asthma. you think that would come up. Maybe she'd do a, a telethon or something. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. Oh, I want to get this one. Okay. This, one, this one's beautiful. Hey, is this one from the same, this uh, Typhoon company too? I don't think that's from Chameleon Glass, but then again, I get confused. Is it, there's a little, I think it is actually. I think it's from Chameleon Glass, but uh, uh, because it looks, go to their got, website, because they they sent Margaret a, a bunch of stuff after so the last time generous. she was They were so generous. They were so generous. Because I said, remember when I said about this, I said, well, this one, this one's perfect for my pussy and my asshole. Mm-hmm. Oh, it so, is. Yes. What, that, that, that won me some prizes. You know what? You know those uh, glass, those glass dildos? They should make one that you can put inside and then smoke out of Whoa. the same time. Just blow it into a vagina. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think you're supposed to blow air into it. I think in the joy of sex it says don't oh. blow into the vagina. That's a major thing because you could cause but an Blow air. in. Because you can't, you know, oh. you've heard the like urban legend, you put a bottle in there and then you pull it out all your organs. Yeah. All your organs fall No, I, I don't want haven't that. heard that. Earlier. No, me either. <laughs> That is gross. What's your high history, Jade? Have you um, have you been a long time smoker? You obviously I've been a long time you just smoke, rolled a really uh, nice it's joint. It's not too, ba- too bad. I'm proud of it. You yeah. didn't even use the, the the twenty dollar bill. You do, you did it on your own you with know, a, without a roller. With you know tools? where I'm always stuck, and you guys can help me with this. Like I do this, but then if I don't have a pen, I always don't like how this comes out without tucking it in. <coughs> I'm always kind of stuck here without a pokey. You know, like a little poke. Well, tool? yeah, maybe you could use What's this. In there? This is a <laughs> That's po- genius. poke bowl. <laughs> these are great shoes. This is a thing right there that you could just great. do it to. They sent me a bunch of these too. It's wonderful. <laughs> I love well, this. Well, if there's yeah. anything else, Margaret, that you want a bunch of, I mention it on the show. Yes. Now, obviously, I do Margaret, need a grinder. Margaret has a bunch is this of a stuff grinder? already. This is like what grinder? that is. Yeah, that's a really nice grinder. I could put that in my pussy and butthole too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. See? Yes. Yeah, that. Yeah. That I sit on. This is a grinder? Oh, I see. It's a grinder. Wait, yes. Yeah, oh, wow. Heavy duty. And then you can keep the whatever this is. It's the key. This. What's this for? That's so you can you, you uh, open it up and then dump the weed out. Oh, that's great. Because you dump it, it's too wide. Right. Like, right. You don't have to reach so in and grab it. You don't have to dump it all out at once. I love all of this. Yeah, it's a I neat mean, one. There's so many great products. I was in Denver this past week, nice. and uh, I tried transdermal patches. Didn't really, didn't want to do it. Didn't work. Hmm. I didn't really like it. Unfortunately, because I wanted it to work so much. You know, you want it 
Yeah. You want it to succeed. Do they succeed. say you have to sweat? Like, do you have to be in a sauna? Do you know what I mean? So it gets in your pores maybe, more? Like, maybe. Like, your pores really have to be open. Perhaps. But then they so can maybe be, while you're in a bath, the pores have maybe to be you open pass to it. out. They can't be, you know, all closed. closed they can't out. be, again, they can't be interested. No, left they wing have to be pores. Right. Uh, this thing's called Green Shark, I believe, uh, and we've had that on the show from uh, practically day one, I think. This is kind of a newer thing we have. Uh, uh, this little guy, so uh, one of his arms just swings around like a normal monkey. But oh the top my! Of his I, head, want this. That's I want this. I want this. He's like he's like anger you in Inside it. Out. This is like Louis Black when he gets mad. Uh -huh. um, Bad thing to check have. it out. And uh, let's and we want to use it to light the. Uh, Here, yeah. Okay. Start. I always hate starting. Oh, this is wow. great. <laughs> Should make a tiny noise. You should make a little noise. Smoke Here, let's try it again. Try again. <laughs> it's a little tight. Oh. Oh boy. Um, the first time I ever smoked weed, we were like in a room. Everyone's like kind of sitting around. My sister was there. She's younger but cooler than me. And I took the bong first, and I went and I went to put my whole mouth around, around it. <laughs> Oh, like, like yeah, that. like this is Out, a little yeah. one, but like Just I went. Just get it ah, in there, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And my sister was like, Jane, no, you know, but it was too late. So. so that was your first hit? No, so was she, that weird way? She's just done it ever since to pretend like that's just how she Yeah, does. yeah. <laughs> I never wanted to admit, yeah. so I just mouth it. What did you think time. of this guy? You, you didn't get a chance to describe it's it. Like, how would you describe it to people? I feel like I don't, I wouldn't know how to light it when I'm holding the door. Right, it's scary, yeah. What else would you say about it? But it's so cute. You had to go on about it. It's so cute. Have you <laughs> held it's it? It's adorable. I haven't held it. You haven't held it's it? It's fun to pull the arm think, back. What do you think, Margaret? I think, it's, um, I think it's very clever, but I think it's hard. I think it's actually you need a friend. There it's you go. Good. It's a friend. That it's really I think we have another one around here somewhere. We're thinking about maybe auctioning it off. Because we got to keep this guy on the set because he's so cool and he's like, just feel it. Isn't but that's that, what it is. It's a table piece. It is. It's what? It's a table piece like at your office or your, your home office. Ooh. You know, it's like cute on the table. Yeah. And then yeah. it's also useful. What Double you, duty. What do you think, Nick? Was that on the show when you were on before? No, I've never seen this. You've all this. held this for the first time, this and none awesome, of you have yeah. said, like, yeah. what, what do you think of it? Well, though? I think, like, you should definitely not have this if you have children in the house. Right, because no. why? Because they're just going to suck on its head and then oh, okay. hit the wrong arm. I thought it might be dangerous because it's like... Uh, and then they'll burn their tongue. Because it's forever. so... Angry? Yeah, no. it's angry. No, he looks curious. And it <laughs> weighs a lot. I think it's I think it's really cute, but it's definitely something that you have to do with somebody else. So it's, that you would, yeah. it's a friendly. You would you would you would be next to them. You go, hey, we need a light. Oh, oh yeah, for you. you. <laughs> These guys are gonna go longer than Pete Holmes. <laughs> it took Pete Holmes forever to call that monkey heavy. It is heavy. heavy? It's not a purse. It's not a purse piece. Oh. That felt like, you know, when you get a UTI and you pee just a tiny, tiny oh, bit at a time. That, that really, really burns like that, yeah, like that, like that, like you yeah. didn't get it all out. Never. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Hashtag heavy monkey. You guys finally <laughs> called it heavy after I said the word heavy. And, um... <laughs> 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 Hashtag marry a monkey. Yeah, what's in that little, um... What's in this, the, is this, you know what this reminds me of? There used to be makeup called Indian Earth, and it was all one color, and you would use it as blush, and you could wet it and use it for eyebrows and Ooh, eyeshadow yeah. and eyeliner, and then put Vaseline and make lipstick. And it was all one color, and it made everybody sort of look like Molly Ringwald. It was that kind of era of makeup. Blushy. Where you had, so is this so that we all look like you? Your, your line of makeup? No, I don't know what's in it's just well, okay, how about this? It's just somebody made it. Like when people oh, make things glass. and give them well, to me, I put nice them on the thing. table. Of course it's you're really gonna nice. use the entire yeah. name. You guys ever watch Gummy Bears, the cartoon? My Twitter handle. <laughs> it looks like yeah. a gummy juice bottle. Oh it does. Yeah. Gummy bears. It Highly sounded like you said gummy juice. Underrated. It gummy is gummy juice. Gummy juice. juice. I wanna try this one. What should I should I go just go in here? Yeah, I wanted to try I like the blue dream. But I think you're more of a blue guy. Yeah, yeah. Well you wanna put some indica in that? Yeah. All right. Put yeah, some of that kosher kush in there. And um, I'd like to mention that last week we didn't have the uh, data for the previous episode, but today we can announce that the past two episodes of this show had the most viewers per capita in, of all places, Washington, D.C. Yes. Wow. And it's been, it's won wow. four times in a row and seven times total, the nation's capital. But I'm starting to think it's because it's just small. Look at this part of it. Yeah, so, a lot of people so there. there is a lot of people, but a lot of people are packed in. It's not really a state, pick? even. Maybe we should make oh, the competition cool. between the states. We can just assume DC yeah. will always be number one. 
Because they did uh, legalize it there, and the last time I was there, I had a very nice time. Wait, legalize it for, for recreational mm -hmm. use? So it is legal. In D.C., yeah. In D.C., and then so you, you saw, like, the dispensaries are just, like in Denver, there you can just go in. Uh, D.C., I don't know how much of that they have. They, they're, they're still behind on that. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying it's, like, it's, totally it's legitimately, like, you can have it and smoke it. Like, it. Yeah. The main thing is to stop throwing, like, three, three strikes at these young ethnic people that of are, course. are completely screwed over just because they uh, caught with a roach or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, so I'm happy for that. And thanks for listening out there. Right. D.C., and, uh, we were there two days ago. Were you? Yeah. Three days old. Awesome. My dad had a reunion of all his high school awesome. friends, and he went to high school in Japan. So it was just me, Nick, and a group of twenty Japanese men. Oh yeah, women. it was so fantastic. It was awesome. Um, <laughs> I showed them fireflies. They were blown away. Awesome. They were what really excited. What do you mean excited. you showed that to them? A lot of them. We were in Brazil. Had some in your them. pocket. No, we were, they were just fireflies, and I was like, should I show them? Should I? Or am I going to be like, hey guys, look, there's fireflies? And they're going to be like, yeah, we've seen fireflies, you idiot. Right, but when are you ever not delighted by flyer, fireflies? It's my favorite part of Pirates Everybody of the Caribbean. These guys were pretty serious up until the fireflies. It was awesome. <laughs> These and were like business, were businessmen were on like, vacation. And then like the karaoke really got them. They lost their shit. Yeah, we got karaoke set up in the basement. Well, loved karaoke. Heard some amazing songs. <laughs> They were chasing fireflies around trying to catch them, and then they would catch them and scream like little children. It was the most exciting night. And then I, for one, fell in love with fireflies again. And karaoke. Perfect you had, you, had, you had grown distant from both of those things? <laughs> yeah, really I, took him, I took it for granted. Right? I yeah. guess you would. Who doesn't? I, mean, I haven't yeah. really done either for maybe a year or two. Do it. it I it's it's saw my dad do, do it. it for the first time in his life. Do some fireflies, man. I think I saw some recently, but maybe I was just really I don't remember it. the last time I've seen them. Oh, you don't man. see them very often. I saw them in a movie don't. recently, I think. We you should a have scene with lots of fireflies. You should have like a, instead of like an animal guest, you should have like a like a bug guest. <laughs> Not like mm -hmm. who like only brings in different bugs for you. To oh, look I at. see what you're saying. Yeah, like, I, I was fireflies. on morning TV once in Portland where I uh, held different bugs, and one of them was they put a cockroach in my hand, well, ooh, and I'm disgusted by cockroaches. Yeah. Yeah. But I think part of the fear and disgust with them comes from how fast they move and how they when they skitter around Maybe. when you turn the lights on, and when they're holding one in your hand, it doesn't move at all. Oh, it doesn't nibble on you. It just sits there. So yeah, it's, yeah. So it took it kind of took the. Uh, grossness out of it for me a little bit. Something is still so I still gross. don't like them. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still anti cockroaches. They're so okay. big. You know, like you like you and fireflies, where I was like, oh, I, got, I forgot how much I love yeah, cockroaches. Yeah, you, you, but they get and so holding them. Get so they're large disgusting. There's some they, in Brazil that fly. They oh. seem like they, they're Yeah, the bigness is a factor too. But this one was like, you know, the size of the palm of my hand. I just held it for a while and I wasn't happy about it, but I got through it. But we got to. We gotta go to a commercial break. When we get back, we're gonna do some pot topics, because I've been trying to get to those, but we're having such a lovely, <laughs> we're having such a lovely conversation. So uh, well, that's a tease for when we get back, because there's a lot of things going on in the news about pot. We'll be right back. Canna Box is the first monthly membership box made for cannabis enthusiasts. Every month, a new box is shipped discreetly to your door, filled with cannabis-related items and accessories. It's like a magazine subscription, except instead of getting a boring magazine every month, you get an awesome box full of exclusive gear, accessories, and items not found anywhere else. Go to CannaBox.com, and for less than $20 every month, you'll receive your own box of goodies. Canna Box is the best way to get the coolest marijuana products delivered right to your door. Go to cannabox.com and use the promo code Doug for 10% off. Somewhere in California, this may all be happening right now. Sweet home San Diego. Film Signal and Doug Benson, the team that brought you the greatest movie ever rolled. Now bring you an adventure with very little adventure in it. Chronicon, a story of a boy, a plant, and a convention. It's a sprawling saga. We gotta get out of the way of the train. It's a spectacular spectacle. Where in the world is Morgan Spurlock? Morgan Spurlock! I wanna find him, confront him. Morgan! It's an epic of weirdos. <laughs> Don't get so close to me, weirdo. What? In your mouth. And weirder hoes. Remember the fat man with the happy smoke? This is a joke, I can smell it! And aliens from all over the Earth. Sexy! Hey, sexy over here, guys! Sexy! 
Chronicon, episode 420, a new dope, two or three years in the making, and it's coming to your galaxy this summer. You just put it in his mouth and then suck the back of the penguin's head. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, this is so cute. (laughs) Welcome back to Gay Dog Wearing Heels. Thank you to uh, Rally Art 2 k 4 for that one. Um, and congratulations, gay dogs. You can get marry, marry each other now. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere in the United Yay. States. I, don't, I haven't researched the other countries. Hey, Doug, look who's making friends over here. Oh, heavy monkey. Oh, the monkey and the cat. And the kitty cat. I like that. This is so cute. It's a little joint, it holds a joint. And then you get just the... Yeah, you don't have to get worry about burning your face. Oh, no, it's so great. Little roach. great. You know, somebody you had a bee. put that cat in danger. His whiskers are a little fucked up. He's like, yeah. whoa, I'm on fire. Somebody had a bead <laughs> and a dream. And now this. Whoa, I'm on fire. I'm Bernie Sanders, somebody, I'm on fire. Somebody was uh, uh, like stone playing with clay and was like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> no, she put a pencil to make a mouth and it went too far in. And she was like, wait a minute. Kept going in. <laughs> Yeah, this Renee, uh, those are made by a woman named Renee mm-hmm. in uh, Houston, Texas. And uh, Chronicon, uh, you just saw the ad for it, That's the uh, trailer, Chronicon episode 420, A New Dope, is uh, available for pre-order, but on July 3rd, it's fully available, uh, just in time for this year's Comic-Con, uh, VI- VOD and iTunes. And I'm going to be watching it at midnight in Denver uh, this Friday night, so if you're in Denver... Go to douglovesmovies.com and find out about that. 1,815 viewers watching us live right now. Yeah, 1,815. <laughs> Wait a minute. At very strange times, some places, some people have to stay up very late to, to watch it. So thanks for doing that. And I, I hope you're hanging in there. Because if I, if I was watching this at 3 a.m. And, <laughs> and getting high along with us, yeah. I, would, I would not no make no it way. till 4 oh, a.m. Oh, yeah, just excited. <laughs> Uh, Coca-Cola douche wants to know, <laughs> I think you mentioned that earlier this evening with the bo- bottle and all your stuff coming out, uh, <laughs> wants to know, does Margaret remember the Skankin' Pickle song named after her? Of course her? I remember. Why would you forget How that? could you forget a wonderful <laughs> song? Skankin' Pickle named, named a song after yeah, me? No, they, they, they wrote a song for me, and um, there have been quite a few songs about, about me. That's, that's the most, uh, one that uses my full name. But Ben Fold's actually just a... Uh, reached out, he wrote a song with my name in it. He asked me if it was okay. And I was Margaret. like, that's fine. Margaret Cho. The whole Use name. Use the whole name. Because he awesome. must have been stuck on a rhyme. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> For a ho or something. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you say, Ben Folds? Ben Folds. Yeah, he would know ho in his song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been writing my own um, yeah. name with Ho before, so it would work. Yeah. No, but it has to rhyme with the your best whole person name. in the your world to know yeah. that Barbara. kind of setup. Yeah, yeah. What rhymes has with to be a Barbara. lady named Margaret Cho? <laughs> yes. Who I'm excited and wondering about how it went for you doing Wife Swap. You're oh on, my God! You're on yeah. ABC's oh, Wife Swap. I'm on Celebrity Wife Swap Wednesday. It was wonderful. Tomorrow night. It yeah. was really wonderful because I loved um, uh, the the Pete Robinsons are. Wonderful family, and I love the the kids are just beautiful. Robinson Pete's, so they're oh, so oh, good. Oh. Holly, yeah, Holly, yeah, Robinson, yeah. Pete. Holly Robinson Pete so and her a- athlete husband. Yes. Rodney. Okay, you switched with them. Yeah. So. And um, who did they stay? Who they, did she stay with? She got to go with my family, and then I'm uh, with uh, Selene Luna, who is um, my friend and comedian, and opens for me a lot. So she was my wife. I swapped her, and yeah. I went over there, and then. <laughs> It was really, it was crazy. My wife. My wife. <laughs> yeah. It was really it's a crazy. weird experience. It was really, it was really, it was really intense. And uh, but we loved their, each other's families. So it was a chance. So everybody had a kids. good time. Nobody, no, there's gonna be no bickering or anything. No fighting. They cleaned out my refrigerator. I can't be more grateful because I have, a, <laughs> I'm like kind of almost a hoarder yeah. level, like restaurant food, like old takeout. Like I don't know why. I think I'm just gonna keep it. Or yeah. like I think if you cook, yeah, you yeah. just have stuff stocked in there. So I I had stuff in there forever, and oh they gosh. they went they she cleaned everything. That's why you did it. You heard they clean fridges. Yeah. So well, like, I'm gonna do this. They 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 tore it up. Yeah, I'm happy. That's awesome. pretty. You had to make rules. I can't believe good things came <laughs> out. Did you have to make yeah, rules we had to for make the kids. Rules. I had to make rules for the kids, and um, you know, because they're all like always playing like sports. So I wanted them to sort of encourage their artistic side, Very cool. and I had some fun with them. They were they were really cool. 
and they went out on the street with me and like played music and and because um, I do that for uh, for uh, to honor Robin Williams in San Francisco, mm -hmm. so I do that to raise homeless like home like like money for homeless people and then I yeah. then kids come and they bring me dabs and I get so high that I have like <laughs> laying down next to this pile of money. The, the <laughs> only way they will come story they, they, they <laughs> dabbers those people that make that stuff they really they want to knock you out. They really want really to it's like they a tranquilizer that, dart. Yeah they want to have that it's, it's a Xanax. A, it's it's a like a tranquilizer thing of pride dart. for them yes. to be like, you know, so and so got knocked out by my because devs Stuff. are just, they're just so, they're, I mean, it's just so concentrated, concentrated that you can't yeah. help but just lie down. It's best to do that on the street. I get it, because you can I recommend. On the street, maybe during the day. <laughs> I recommend people are sitting down when they dab for the first time. Oh, yeah. Or any time. They should be laying down. They should have an like, administration. Lay all the way right down. Your put your head on the pillow. <laughs> wrapped up, strapped to the bed. Uh, let's do some pot topics. Um, Tomorrow, it's happening, you guys. Oregon, July 1st, boom. Uh, legalization goes into effect for adults tw 21 and older can possess and use recreational marijuana. Uh, yeah. And it's legal for an adult uh, to grow up to four plants and share it with other adults. <laughs> yeah. The wording it's a total is share, right. sharing party going <laughs> on up there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, adults can Dude. share it with other adults. Uh, adults. Yeah. yeah. Put it there. And tonight, if you're watching this in the, and you're in the area and you haven't heard this yet, uh, free marijuana seeds are going to be given out tonight on the west side of the Burnside Bridge. What? So that sounds like a setup. That sounds like a, <laughs> that sounds like a sting operation. So don't go there. Yeah, hey, meet us under a bridge uh, late tonight. Well, just free seeds. pot seeds. They yeah, just, yeah. yeah. They didn't so know they can bust you want. in three months. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Any day now, that'll be a plant, and we can get them. Oh, that's why they're giving away the seeds yeah, tonight. So is because to it's legal to have and use and grow, but to not buy or sell. Mm. Yeah, so they want people to so harvest it. So it's going to be a whole bartering scene going on oh, in Oregon. Especially Portland will latch onto that. Yeah, I will, awesome. yeah, I'll have to buy these these donuts to yeah, give, you know. Exactly, this, just trade the, it yeah. and let's keep move it on. Yes. Their microbrewery will trade with the dispensary, and yeah. But that's great that it's illegal to sell it, so no yeah. one could, no corporation could step in, like mm -hmm. the tobacco company or something can't just step in and make marijuana yeah, and sell it. Yeah, take it over. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited that. for that. And it'll be interesting because that's, it's different than what's gone on in Colorado. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see, you know, compare what's going on with the two states uh, yeah. but so over just time. Like no money exchanged at all. I mean, that's really weird. Yeah, right. It's bartering. It's, it's, well, the idea is it's, you know, okay to have it. So no one's going to be thrown in jail for having it. Mm. And the, the people that are selling it, if it's, if they're doing it in a big way, then they're going to still be considered criminals mm. and they're going to want to lose that element. Right. I mean, I think it feels like Oregon, like it passed probably because of, for, because that was in there, Yeah, you yeah. know, because the first time the, a few, two years prior, they tried it and it didn't pass. It didn't make it. So then, I mean, just what, what is like, what constitutes like a bartering system though? Like, what would you, what would you barter? Like, I'm just guessing that's where it's got to go. It's going to start with everyone just going, yay, we can smoke our pot and give it to each other. Maybe it's like <laughs> produce, you know? you know, that way, like yeah. where it's like, people to people that you know, like not really well, larger be, than your neighborhood or your community. Yeah, you'll just give it to friends and grow as much as you can smoke. And if you don't, you could probably still buy it for people. And it seems like training, <laughs> training <laughs> that's probably what it's gonna be. Yeah. It's like training wheels for a few years down the road. Either it's gonna happen nationally or they will vote again to say, let's just go ahead and let people sell it. Yeah. You know, right. and yeah. that's that's when things might it's get kind of tricky. Yeah, I like that move for sure. But this one, this pot topic really, <laughs> really excites me. It's the best pot topic, uh, pot topic. Uh, I've got in my hands right now. A new study by researchers at the National Institute, <laughs> the National Institute on Drug Abuse confirms that marijuana affects drivers less dramatically than alcohol. It Which is, is black we all know anecdotally that that's absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. just because every stoner you know has I, never been in a horrible accident because they were just on pot. Right? It just depends. I, I mean, well, they've been really, really slow. slow. You're very careful, I yeah. Do, I wouldn't be driving that stone because I just. Me either. Yeah. I, that's I, a good I, idea. Yeah. But they're saying that the standard now that uh, Colorado and Washington have to use to determine if someone's driving because they want to treat it like alcohol. 
So the standard, it seems like it's too harsh, like especially because marijuana stays in your system for like an entire month. So a joint you had a week ago is not gonna affect how you drive today. Right? Oh yeah. Right? And then, but they'll, they can still claim you were high when you go. So they just need yeah. like a much better system for detecting how much weed you just smoked. Yeah, or they have yeah. to have like a DUI style test for <laughs> marijuana, but they just have a slice of pizza and they're like, how m do you want that? Yeah, just different food. This will just came out of the oven. So yeah, do you like it? Smells good. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, uh -huh. I, I got pulled over only one time in my entire life and it was like, I wasn't high or drunk. I hadn't smoked anything, um, but my tattoo artist had used cocaine in my ink. So he had like take because we had tried. He had read it I in a book, and he he took cocaine and he he bought something and he put it in the ink in the wash water, and yeah. he this put it in my the bag. This is the story I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> and I, but I was so scared, you know, that I was like real nervous about it, and yeah. I I just did, I didn't get high, but I was like scared. And then somebody I got pulled over, and they were like flashing this thing my in my eyes, and I'm like, um, and I was just even more paranoid. Yeah. It's like. So weird. So that's the only time I've ever been pulled over. Oh and it was so scary. They didn't think you were on drugs or anything. No, well, they, they were like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing. Nothing. And they didn't smell anything. But they just like, were like, Go she's on. just crazy. Yeah. I love it. So wait, did Pull you me over do again. that with no. the cocaine? Well, or is that just a, a... It was in a book about tattooing it called, I think, um, called Memoirs of a Tattooist in like yeah. the turn of the century or something. And then so um, my friend who tattoos me wanted to try it. And so I bought the Coke and you know, we just did it. And I don't, yeah. I'm not a cocaine user, so I don't really know what it's supposed to feel yet, yeah. feel at all, really. So it was just kind of just scary, but it took down the swelling in my back and it made oh, wow. um, me able to sit through a session because I have a lot of tattoos, but I can't sit very long. So, so. it numbs your back a little bit, like a it lot. numbs your soul when you do it. It really that's numbs it. your back a lot. So that's what they use it for dentistry sometimes, liquid cocaine. So it's something oh. that is like effective, not like a transdermal patch. <laughs> Where's the cocaine patch coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it, I think it exists. Really? No, I mean, not a, I think just in other just ways. Just do cocaine? Just like Adderall. Mm -hmm. uh, Louisiana, which, uh, you know, I would, you know, other than the fact that everyone there is drunk, <laughs> is a pretty uh, conservative place, right? Yeah. Uh, Governor Bobby Jindal uh, signed two bills yesterday that represent a big step forward for Louisiana. It's a framework for dispensing medical marijuana making Louisiana the first state in the South to make pot available for a wide range of chronically ill patients. Got to be chronically ill, but always a good step in the right direction. Yeah, that helps people already. Yeah. The second bill makes a possession of a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor rather than a felony for a second offense. So that's very helpful in keeping people yeah. out of prison. First time offenders can erase their conviction if they don't re-offend within two years. But that's kind of like uh, driving citations, you know? Yeah, like, that's great. They'll have to go to traffic school, and then. Uh, Do you ever teach comedy traffic? Two school? years later, I never. That was one of the. I've done a lot of the sundry <laughs> like professions that stand-up comics end up doing, but that's not one I ever gave into. I didn't know that that's a thing. Because yeah. it's like you got yeah, you're with people for like eight hours, yeah. you know, and I've seen guys do it that are great at yeah. it. Yeah. There was like a per particular type of comic. I go, of comic whenever I have to do it, I go, I pick a comic and, you know, one that's done by a comic and hope yeah. that I know the comic. It's yeah. not like they can really let you out early or anything, but at yeah. least it's fun to watch a comic you know sweat for eight hours <laughs> of having to just talk about fucking traffic <laughs> yeah. and make it interesting and fun. And uh, Mike Uribe, Uribe, Uriga, Pipes. Uriga, Mike Uriga, Pipes, yeah. he uh, was really good at that. Yeah, he's, I had a really I think he fun still time. Does it. Maybe. He does it still. If he he's does, great. find Mike Uriga, whatever. What yeah, city's Mike he Uriga. Now? He's he's here in LA. <laughs> he's in LA. That's right. I did it at the Improv. Yeah, he does Bay, Bay Hilaria. I thought it was like so. you just did it online. I never even I knew there was like well, an option a, to be in front of a online. Online yeah. thing is it's smarter, online. and that's what yeah. I should have done. Yeah. yeah. You can just click through it, really. Yeah, it's like it doesn't yeah, take that long. It's kind of bullshit now. Yeah. Yeah, you can take a screen grab went, and then just take the quiz and just go back. I feel to bad for those teachers though, because that's a that was a good gig for people. Yeah, yeah that was a cool yeah. gig. I mean, it it's was like just a corporate a, gig. It, yeah, it was like a corporate gig, but it was also kind of like you had. I went to training for it because I was going to do it, and the main thing was um, they were like, "Don't take any bribes because people are going to try to give you bribes, and if you take bribe, you'll get arrested." And so there was all this like weird shit about that. <laughs> and um, no I was getting ready. You have to be. Clean. You had to be clean. Yeah. And you better be clean. You better. You have to do this, this, and that. You know, I did it all the things, and then I, I got a TV show. So then I'm I like, couldn't. Sorry. Do it. That's the secret like, oh, way shit. Yeah. to get a TV yeah. show. Oh I was like, yeah, you got to shit. Work bring, <laughs> brings work, guys. <laughs> Keep it busy. <laughs> 
Remember, did we talk about this the last time you were on about how Tarantino and Rolling Stone outed a, a, a party at Dave Rath's house that we were both at that uh, that was like a night that he had an epiphany that he's just like hanging out with strangers, getting high, and what's he doing with his life? And he drove home. <laughs> I knew it was us because he, the story was about how he then, you know, just suddenly got up and left and drove oh, down the canyon. Yeah, yeah. In the Laurel Canyon. Yeah. And so I read that in really, because it started off was like, I was at the uh, premiere of Speed and Margaret Cho was there and I went back to somebody's house with her and a bunch of her friends. Yes. And we got him high and all he did was talk. He did all the talking, and then he suddenly got up and left. Like, like he suddenly had an epiphany. Like, well, these guys are a bunch of losers. Like, why? I could be doing all the talking somewhere else. He talked himself out of the conversation. He was yeah, like, I've had enough of the but we were all, we were all like, couldn't believe it that like we just watched Speed with Keanu Reeves, and then we're at a house in the Hollywood Hills where where Quentin Tarantino is just giving us a master class on everything he knows about movies, and we're all just high and just like listening oh, to every word Have of it. We gone to the Snake Pit before that. Remember that was on Melrose. It was like the Maybe. bar. It was a bar. Seems like we went right up there after oh, the I movie. Oh, I love but... the Snake Pit. Yeah, we... yeah, big wall of whiskey and amazing uh -huh. nachos. Yeah. yeah, I think we were there. And then <laughs> you write their ads. <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah, on down for the wall of whiskey nice. and the amazing nachos. <laughs> Let's do a uh, pod quiz hop shot. Speaking of speed, that's a play on that. Mm, um, yeah, I, I like enjoyed dancing on yeah. that one. That really got the party going. Um, mm -hmm. There's weed etiquette, you guys, according to the Emily Post Institute. Mm. And I just want to throw them out there and see if you guys uh, know, you know, the answers. Okay, I believe in this. Because yeah. I hate it when people pass or break a circle Don't give it the up. wrong way. Don't give it that weed. All right, oh, you do? You get really into, uh, oh, you don't yeah. like that stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm never, I never know. I'm usually too high to notice anything <laughs> happening. In yeah. the beginning, just in the beginning, you know? Or yeah. when you got a good circle and someone just... Okay, Where do you stand on the rope. whole, uh, you know, if somebody, uh, you know, the, if there's like a guest and they don't give them the, the first, you know, green hit, is that, con that a concern to you? Uh, yeah, I'll go for a corner if I know four people are smoking the same bowl. You know, leave a little yeah, green yeah. for the other people. That's, That's the nice, nice thing. That's that, nice to that go for thing. the corner. That's a good slogan, I think. Yeah, corner's yeah. good. I think, like, giving somebody is, like, dependent on if, like, you come up to me and you're my friend, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. But this, sometimes you're taking weed from real shady dudes, and I don't mind if they're like, yeah, you can have it after I hit it. But they're like, who the fuck is this kid walking up to me? Give it to me, second. I'll take a second. Sorry, I guess I just got cut. I just cut. <laughs> <laughs> I was loving that. I was yeah, just I was like, I cannot it. wait to see how long this goes for. Yeah. Me. Man. I Honestly, I think if you sincerely can, can yeah. people at home can do this. You separate those two tracks and slide my conversation up 15 <laughs> seconds. It will link up perfectly into That's the podcast. True. This is like Dark Side of the Moon. Flip it over. Run it backwards. another message. Yeah. Should pot be offered to all the guests at a party? Yeah. From the same bowl? I think um, so, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, I don't know, this sure. one's kind of out of left field, because I think the earlier I asked some uh, on another show, I asked questions about, is it appropriate to smoke pot at a party? Yes. Yeah. And that's of, uh, you, you can know, always feel it out. Yeah. If people yeah, are exactly. uncomfortable or not. Yeah. Like, There's no hard and fast answer, because like, like they say here, what, is your boss at the party? And not a, maybe not a work party. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it depends. How close are I mean, you to your coworkers? Gotta, but it's definitely think this a work party. Through, every, you know? way, every, <laughs> thing, every day. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You're tearing down. I mean, I'm at work right now. Do. Yeah, we're <laughs> working. Right now. Yeah, we're going to promote our stuff <laughs> no, it's here yeah, in a second. Back, it's man. Cool. All these answers are just <laughs> yeah. pretty straightforward. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. You should offer weed to everyone. Should be offered weed, and if they don't want it, you shouldn't feel bad. You know, like like yeah. when people get so fucking upset when you don't want to do a shot. Yeah, like you're at a club and they're like, like, do a really shot. Drink. I don't want to do yeah. a shot. Yeah. Oh, but do me. it. <laughs> That's what well, I no, do. I don't want to do it. That's <laughs> what I'm like. I'm in. It makes me feel so whiny, you know. Yeah, but. me either. I'm like, I even, I just really, I've been smoking, so. Hmm. Yeah. I you got this. It in as I have like... self-medicate. I, I will be, I'll be buying and doing shots like crazy if that's what I wanted to be but doing right now. Shots are kind of gross too. And they are. It's like, why would you just want to hammer to your head? Like, yeah. It's just you like, feel like what's shit. The point? 
Yeah. But that's yeah. sort of like when we hit do dabs or a really, yeah, really giant know. bong or something. It's really like, let's just fucking it's get really hard. on yeah, fast. Yeah. Sometimes you it's the hammer. same thing, but then yeah. you just sort of like want to go sit down, not like, you know, yeah. violently throw up into a bush. <laughs> yeah, I, I have violent periods. You don't want to fight I, immediately. I guess such, I have such an intensely long relationship with pot. It's like it almost doesn't affect me. Like almost smoking like this almost doesn't do anything. It, this does, because it's all new weed. Like yeah. when it's pus, like pussy strange, like when weed is strange, it's mm -hmm. like so much better. Yeah, it is. Whoa, I've never heard the phrase the same... pussy strange, and now I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I said that way. <laughs> we got to go to a commercial. <laughs> we'll be back with more strange pussy talk. Pussy strange. Right after pussy this. Strange. Advertisers support the show and keep it free for you. We're running an audience survey to help us know more about getting dug with high listeners. Your answers help us find advertisers that are well matched to you, your interests, and the show. That increases the chance of having happy advertisers, which means happy listeners. Everybody wins. Go to podsurvey.com slash get dash Doug. It takes less than five minutes, and the survey is completely anonymous. When you're finished, you can enter your email for the chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card. We give away one gift card every month. Again, that's podsurvey.com slash get dash Doug to take our survey and help the show. Hey, we're back, so uh, please do that uh, survey thingy if you want to help us to get advertisers to do these more and keep them free for you to watch. And Not that we ever really charge for it, but what are you, you going to do? 2,004 people are watching right, right now. Yeah. Or somebody just uh, wanted to remind me of one of their favorite years. <laughs> and um, now that gay marriage and Obamacare are basically non-issues, uh, <laughs> in the in the coming election, no, they're going to be huge issues because it's all going to be about we're going to overturn all yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think pot will be a big platform? Hmm. That was from sweaters, um, or sweeters. Could go either way, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's sweaters. Yeah, yeah. it's sweaters. EA is sweaters. It's that guy. Uh, He's back in prison. That sweat was the name of the guy. Oh, he's sweaters, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's probably on sweaters, Twitter sweaters just and having fun. Immediately yeah. gave him a cell phone and computer access. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say Johnny Hemp won. We don't have time for your question, but we do have time to say Johnny Hemp won. <laughs> Twice. Um, let's now, see your plugs, read, you guys. Oh, yeah. What, do you, what were you going to say? I was going to say, now read Johnny Hemp 2's question. To really fuck with Johnny Hemp. We didn't one. get one from him, but he'd like to know. <laughs> Johnny Hemp, too. He'd like to know, Nick, what's going on with you, man? You've got uh, Golan the Insatiable. Oh, yeah, man. This cartoon is a, a thing that was uh, very much a labor of love, and I fucking love it. And it's on Fox, and they're kind of burying it. And uh, you can oh, watch come it on, on Hulu. Fox. I know. You can watch it on Hulu. I think I really stand Where is it? it? They have it in that, like, their late night animation thing? Or? No, it got bumped to, like, 9.30 on Sundays. So it's, like, prime time, but they just, you know, it's the same They're not advertising. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, I love, I t truly but stand behind it. people watch that block of programming will check it out. And if it's, oh, yeah, if it's good out of the gate, they'll like it. Aubrey Plaza's really in it. You've, you've had her here. Rob Riggle. It's a good show. That's awesome. I'm in it. I fucking yeah. do a voice in a cartoon. Yeah. Watch it so I can keep doing a voice in a cartoon. It's the best job That's in the world. That's really the best thing it yeah. is. It's to such do. A good, I love it. I know. I love it's, it. I, yeah. So the next episode is July 12th, so write that down or something. Yes. And check out the movie Balls Out. Yes, watch Balls Out. Available on Amazon <laughs> and video on demand. I know. Can I describe, can I explain Balls Out to you real quick? I... Kind of like it already. I've all seen right. the trailer. You have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. And it's you guys are. All, you've all. You've done a lot of stuff together. Yeah. Uh, it's as an a amazing. group. So that always makes for like the reviews. Like Rotten Tomatoes, it's doing pretty well, right? It is. It's really great. I like think... critics probably love it because it sounds like it's smart, but still kind of one of those little balls out comedies. Yeah, <laughs> it's sex out. comedy, but, sm but smartly it's not. done. It's smarter than balls. It balls out sounds. They literally stamped <laughs> a poster of a butt, like wearing. Right. That's what I mean. But, it's, but it also feels pa like pa not necessarily parody, but. Uh, I mean, it definitely kind of is. But there's no fucking butts. There's no. There's like literally no girls in it. There's like two. You're girls. really anti-selling this thing now. I mean, <laughs> I, there's no butts I'm in selling it. it, it really I'm selling it to the right out. people. It looks really funny right though. People. It yeah. does look really funny. It is funny. Check it out. Yeah, Beck Bennett is in there. Beck Bennett, is in, he's been on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kate McKinnon, She's so Jake Lacey, Nikki fucking Reed. You Twilight fans out there, tune in just for that. Right? Uh, Come on, Twilight fans. Yeah. 
bunch of cool dudes from Austin. I don't know. Well, thank <laughs> you, it. thank you, Nick, for coming back lucky. on the thank show. You. Always Thanks, appreciate you being here. And uh, how you, how you feeling? I feel good, man. It feels good. good to be back in LA. We just got in today. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now, so well, perfect welcome. Let me. Yeah, it's a great way to uh, get back into society because <laughs> nothing is going to get accomplished tonight. <laughs> I can tell that. I can tell you that right no, now. No. Uh, Margaret Cho is going to be at the Music Box Theater at the Borgata Casino. Fancy. Uh, <laughs> Atlantic City on July 18th. And Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal, July 24th. Yeah. Wife swaps tomorrow night. Yes, Ooh. I'm gonna watch. July 1st. Oh yeah, you gotta watch. It's gonna be good. And uh, she's got her new line of pot coming out called High Life, with natural cannabis company. Nice. Let's beat Connie Chung. Knock her out of the water. Yeah, I know. Get her out. I do not know what Connie Chung is doing in the game. She we, she hasn't called us to come on the show. Yeah, we know. She's gotta come on though. Make That's her not come smart. on. She'll be she'll be great. Not she'll be great. Smart, Connie. Get it together, Connie. <laughs> How would she ever come on the show? Creepy host, come on my show, <laughs> Connie. Are you watching? That's what, it. That's what's gonna make her come on. Uh, Jay <laughs> Catapreta, everybody, watch her on the Jim Gaffigan show, oh, yeah. uh, premiering July fifteenth on TV Land, and she's also on Girl Code on MTV. But yeah. Jim Gaffigan, and I hear him uh, in the media talking about his frustration with the fact that. Uh, he doesn't really feel like his show is like a TV land kind of show. Yeah, I think and, they've uh, had a whole new bunch of shows. So people though. have to find it, is what I'm yeah. trying to say. He's they, so make great, the though. effort. It's so good, you guys. The show's the so good. Person. I have a tiny part in it, but I want to promote it. He's see the funniest it. person. He smokes. Yeah. I smoke weed with him a lot of times. He won't come on this he show. He used to open for me. Michael Ian Black is in it. On? He's so funny. Oh, Michael Ian Black was on yeah, this show and smoked weed. He doesn't get high. And Adam. Oh, he doesn't smoke pot. No, he doesn't. Just doesn't work, he says. Oh, well, I, I thought he did pretty. I thought he got high when he was high. here. Oh, I will. I love that. Yeah. And you'll be back on at midnight yeah, later this on the month, 22nd. hopefully against lesser adversaries than yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Because I, I, I refuse to come in third place. You know what it was? I refuse to it was do it. I'm the captain meow. That's what won that it for you. That was a good one. That Clean. was good. That it was, was about a kitty taking over a boat. I'm the captain meow. Um, <laughs> I had to try to put in a little bit of context. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, sense. I'm doing Douglas movies at the Improv in Tempe, Arizona. So, uh, Tempe. Yeah, I'm bringing some light clothing. And uh, Friday night <laughs> at midnight, I'm screening the new movie that you saw the trailer for earlier tonight. I'm sorry you've had to see the trailer so many times if you're a fan of the show, but I really want you to watch me getting high at Comic-Con. It's called Chronicon in Denver. Please, tickets are still available. Come to the midnight screening. It's 4th of July weekend, so people have plans for the whole weekend. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm gonna have my big premiere on the 3rd of July, so at midnight. So come on out to that, you guys. And it's at the Littleton Alamo Draft House. There's a pre-party at 10 o'clock sponsored by Hi There, which is an app where you can, uh, when you go to a town, you can just find other stoners. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, speaking earlier of how sharing we all are. And yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, Sunday, July 5th, I'm doing stand up in Denver at 420 at Comedy Works. And next Tuesday, I'll be at the Irvine Improv, Irvine, California, douglovesmovies.com for all the dates. Buy our stuff. We're going to you know, keep selling these blue cards to you if you want to buy them. Uh, bit.ly slash Doug Merch. You know how that works. I've never gone to bit, Bitly, have you guys? No. Bitly? Mm -mm. Ever yeah. Bitly? I've all clicked right. on a few Bitly's in my life. <laughs> One more time yeah, no, for all of my guests I get into and the I get into it tonight. very small studio <laughs> audience <laughs> tonight. Thanks for being here, you guys. Have a happy 4th of July, everybody. We're going to take oh, yes. a week off for the, all this crazy stuff I'm running around and doing. But we will be back on Tuesday, July 14th at a time to be determined. Thank you for finding us, <laughs> and we'll see you again in uh, two weeks. <laughs>